everybody, last year I started collecting Blu-rays. In my entire life, I always collected DVDs. I have over 250 DVDs. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna switch it to Blu-rays. Because you get the DVD, you get a Blu-ray video, and you get a digital code as well. So you get all three, and for three for one special. So I decided to start collecting them, and I got my stack pretty freaking high. So today is an updated Blu-ray collection video. I'm gonna try to make this as short, sweet as possible. If you guys are new to my Blu-ray videos, I don't really edit them. I stutter a lot of my words. So let's just get started. And first up, I got Avengers Infinity War. This is actually my favorite movie of all time. I didn't think anything would beat my previous favorite, but it did. I've seen this 24 times. So if you have any questions, I can answer them about this movie. I love it. This is the 4K one, so not quite. I guess it's a Blu-ray, but it's a 4K one. All right. Next up, I got Tom Cruise's The Mummy, and it's actually still in its packaging. I bought it last year on Black Friday, and since I bought it, I was like, I just don't really want to watch it, but that's uh, the case is cool. She's creepy. She has face tattoos, and she's kind of scary looking. Next up, I bought Split, another 4K, but this one was really dirt cheap. It was only $9.99, and I got it for Glass, so I can kind of get caught up for all the movies before I watch Glass, so I can get a good review of Glass and make sure I know everything's going on, so I bought it, and James McAvoy. He's just killer, man. He's awesome. Next up is the uh, I think one of the most underrated movies of last year, and that is First Man. I absolutely love this movie. It's one of my top ten favorites of the year. I think it got snubbed for Best Actor, Best Actress, Best Director. I think it got snubbed a lot on that. Next up is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and it's still in its packaging as well. But I love the Harry Potter movies, and I haven't seen this one yet. I mean to watch it, and um, I just get busy and I keep buying Blu-rays. Not watching them. You're gonna find that a lot of these are still in this packaging. Next, I got How to Train Your Dragon, and um, that's that's in this packaging, folks. This is uh, one of my favorite trilogies of all time. Love this one. My favorite of the bunch. I don't think it's gonna, this is gonna really beat it. It's fantastic. Next, I got Mission Impossible Fallout. One of my favorite movies of the last year. Action packed, really unrealistic, but it's a Tom it's a Tom Cruise action movie. Henry Cavill is a great badass beast, and they got a lot of action. They got some cool plot twists, and it's freaking dope. All right. Next up, Wonder Woman and packaging still in it. But I bought I've been buying DC movies lately, so I can get a big ranking video going for um blah, Shazam coming up soon. So I got this. I got Batman vs Superman. That's coming up in a little bit. I gotta get watching. Next, I got Zero Dark Thirty and Catherine Bigelow, Bigelow, I don't know how to say her name, Biglow. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but she's a killer freaking director for war movies. This, The Hurt Locker, Detroit, all killer baller stuff. Next, I got American X. I actually bought this, I think, in my February one. I bought like 20 movies in my last Blu-ray haul last year, but you check that playlist, you know, I'll put it in the eye, you can click on the eye, you know where it's at. And, um, never seen this one, it is packaging, that's... That's all I got to say about that. Next is the Mummy Trilogy. I love Brendan, Brendan Fraser, I think his name is, and they got, my favorite one is Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. They have the Yetis, they got a lot of cool stuff going. Good action, good adventure movies. Next is the classic, it's Jaws. And I saw this when I was a little kid, and it was so crazy watching it, I'm like five years old, you know, early 2000s. And then I watch it now, I'm like, God, it just doesn't hold up anymore. You know, it's just a classic movie, you, you always love it. Of course, it just doesn't hold up with all the graphics and stuff, because it was made like in the 80s. Um, one of my favorite, Law, part of my favorite law movie, one of my favorite movies is A Few Good Men. It's still in this packaging. I have it on DVD. I watched it on that all the time. I got this two years ago and God, or last year, though. Started collecting last year, so that's when I got it. Great. Love it. If you guys haven't seen it, then uh, you can't handle the truth. I mean, come on! Next, I got The Matrix packaging. Haven't seen it. My uncle got it for me. Still haven't seen it. Next. Oh, no! It fell out. Hear that? It fell out of its thing. The Fugitive. Haven't seen it. Need to watch it. Still on its packaging. I'm behind on my movie game. I keep buying it without watching them. Next, Rocky. And there's an eight movie collection. All of the movies are the six disc set. There it says six, not eight, six. And um, I actually own all the Rocky and Creed movies now. So that's pretty exciting. Love Rocky. Can't beat it. Either. Rocky Four. that freaking training montage. Dope. Nothing beat it until it's up uh, Creed Two. Their training montage, badass. Next up, Interstellar. One of my favorite movies of Christopher Nolan. Probably... Uh, I don't know, it's close. I love Christopher Nolan. His movie's fantastic. And Matthew McConaughey, man. Just dope. Oh, God. Crazy long movie, but it's a crazy movie that gets your brain working. Next up, American Hustle. And when I bought this, I um, heard about it when it came out for the Oscars years ago. Ten Academy Awards and nominations, all that. I didn't like it. I gotta say, it was. I thought it was a huge disappointment for me. Um, I didn't really mess with it. I thought it was kind of slow, kind of boring. I didn't really care about the story. Acting was good, but that's about that. 
Next one of my favorite horror, uh, horror movies, yeah, this is a horror movie, my favorite action movies is Hacksaw Ridge, Andrew Garfield. I think he got snubbed for Best Actor, and Mel Gibson, I don't even think got nominated for Best Director, should have. Fantastic. My girlfriend really loved it because it had the love story in the beginning and have all the war at the end, and I love both of them. I was like, yeah. Next is the Predator trilogy. Um, I actually love the first Predator the best. It's so good with Arnold. Can't really beat it. Next up is Incredible Hulk. Um, not my favorite MCU movie. Actually, not even close. But when the Hulk fights Abomination, that's dope. That's pretty badass. Woo! Drop some movies here. Um, then I got Baby Driver. Haven't seen it. Still was packaging. This is a steel book as well. But it was only like, I think like $7 at Best Buy. And um, got a good cast. Got Ansel Elgort. And then got Kevin Spacey. You got Jamie Foxx. Heard it's great. And, you know, um, I'm not, I'm good at buying movies, but not watching them. Next up, I got Men in Black. And guess what? Still in its packaging. And um, need to watch it because the Men in Black International, whatever it's called, coming out later this year. Chris Hemsworth, Tessa Thompson. I'll watch those to rank them all. Next, Bohemian Rhapsody. Um, I, it's pretty crazy how much it surprised me with how many Oscars in the win, but I got it. I actually really enjoyed it. I know a lot of people, oh, the movie sucked, bro, but whatever. I thought it was good. Next is Harry Potter 8 film. 8, so this is the 8 film one, not the Rocky one. This is the 8 film collection, Harry Potter. I got it. Um, I was trying to watch all these and rank them all when Crimes of Grindelwald came out, but they're like two and a half hours of smack, man. I'm like, dude, this is 20 hours of movies. It was hard to watch them all, you know, and I tried, didn't get through them all. Next up is The Lincoln Lawyer. I got this for my birthday, which was last month, and my girlfriend's mom is telling me about it, telling me about it, telling me about it. Hot Aunt May from the new Spider-Man Homecoming's in it, and a great movie. Kind of some weird transition, the choice of like color usage, but still good, still entertaining, and Matthew McConaughey kills it. Next, Remember the Titans, one of my favorite sport movies of all time. Denzel Washington's most underrated performance next movie is Ocean's 8. I, it was a big surprise for me last year. I really, really enjoyed it. It is the same exact setup as um, the old Ocean's Eleven. Like, they almost get caught, then they don't get caught. It just fell on the ground, but that's okay, you know. I'm just grab a stack, so I'm just keeping it down. All right. And that's kind of that. Next is American Made, one of my favorite Tom Cruise movies. It's kind of hard to pick a favorite Tom Cruise movie because he has so many good ones. I love this movie. It's weird to say, but I love movies that are, like, about the cartel and all that. Really interesting me. And this movie's about money and the cartel and how crazy there is. Um, next, actually... Oh, uh, there's a Harry Potter movie in here, but The Girl with a Dragon Tattoo. Trippy, kind of a long movie, but um, it's really, really good. Really kind of, you have to really pay attention to it, so you can't be tired. If you guys want to kind of get tripped out and kind of like sit up for three hours, I'd watch it at about four o'clock in the afternoon, get a pizza with your friends, and watch it, analyze it. That's a good time. Bought this at the beginning of this month. Creed 2. This will be at the end of my month. I'll do a big, uh, blue color, blue, blah, 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 blah. Look at my Blu-ray haul. And Creed 2, I loved it. One of my favorite movies last year. I think I made my top five favorite movies last year. Fantastic. That montage scene. I downloaded all the music for the movie because the score and the music is just absolutely fantastic. It's awesome. Next up is Wedding Crashers. Absolutely hilarious. These two need to get together more. Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson. They only did this and the internship together. They got a lot. Too much chemistry to not do movies. Next up is Big. Tom Hanks. Still on his packaging. Never seen it before. Kill me. What are you going to do? Yell at me. I don't care. Next up is Get Out. Still on his packaging, but I've seen it about four times. And Us. I'm seeing Us on Thursday night. I can't wait. I'm going to pop this sucker in tomorrow night before I watch it. Because it's going to be dope. I cannot wait for Us. I'm kind of nervous because I don't get scared of movies, but I think it's going to scare me. Next up is Criminal. Never seen it. I've been trying to watch it. I've been mean to watch it because their lineup has Kevin Costner, Gary Oldman, Tommy Lee Jones, Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot, and Ryan Reynolds. I don't know how to say Gal Gadot's name. Crazy good cast. Terrible reviews. But I need to watch it. I need to pop that sucker in. And last from the first pile is Batman. The OG Batman with Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson. And never seen it. I need to watch all the Batmans and then I'll do like a big ranking of them. That would be a fun. That would be a fun time to do. Next up, I'm back in the MCU's Iron Man. One of my favorite MCU movies. I love it. Where it all began. Robert Downey Jr. He's the only one to play Tony Stark. Oh, this man right here. Damien Chazelle's Whiplash. I watched this movie two nights back to back. J.K. Simmons. That was the best performance I've ever seen by someone in my life. He won Best Supporting Actor. Good reason. Next up, got us at Walmart for uh, really cheap because the promo was like $6.99. Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I know a lot of people hated it. I found myself really entertained by it. I love dinosaurs eating people, and that's what we had. So, sometimes you just gotta enjoy some good action in your life. Next is Simple Favor. 
one of the most underrated movies of last year. When I watched it at home, I was like, oh my god, this shit is crazy! They have a twist, and she, Blake Lively, she's so good looking, but she's so devious in this movie, and you're like, oh my god. That's a DVD. Oh my god, it's crazy. Next up, back at MGCU, and Men in the Wasp. And um, I'm very excited for them to be in Avengers Endgame. Um, I did not like the villain in this movie. I guess on the main focus point, but I just did not like her. But these two, you love them. And Michael Pena steals the show. He's just absolutely amazing. Next is Rampage. I know people hate these movies, but Dwayne Johnson's my guy. If I can meet anyone in the world, it'd be Dwayne Johnson. And I love his movies. This is cheesy. This is dumb. It was funny, and it had some good action. You know what? You gotta accept it for what it was. For an action movie, it's a solid 7 out of 10. You can't say it wasn't. Back in the MCU, Civil War. Oh my god, so emotional. I can't even want to talk about it because it's going to make me freaking cry. Next up, one of my favorite MCU movies, as long as Civil War, is Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Oh my god, emotional! With Bucky and Cap, and oh my god. Now hop into DCEU, Man of Steel. The score on this movie. Oh my god. Great. Great, great, great. Henry Cavill is my Superman. He will always be my Superman. Next up, back in the MCU, Thor Ragnarok, the funniest movie in the MCU. I actually started getting angry how funny it was. I started pointing myself in the theater like, you need to calm yourself because it's just too funny. You gotta stop. You gotta, you gotta relax. Next is John Wick, the two film collection. Oh, I cannot wait for John Wick. Chapter 3, Parabellum, I believe it's called. Cannot wait. John Wick, Keanu Reeves, badass. Oh my god. You ever see him, like, if you're, like, in real life, like, Keanu Reeves, just leave him alone. He'll kill you. Next up, I got Polar Express. This is a movie everyone loves. And like, oh my god, it's the best Christmas movie ever. It's not. I'm here to tell you that. It's not. Next is Horrible Bosses. Unrated edition. I'm a, one of my favorite comedies. I love it. Um, and I'm falling asleep when I try to rewatch it again. Because now it's a totally inappropriate edition. So I don't know what that's going to bring. But I need to finish it. Rewatch it. Probably not going to be much different. Next up is Godzilla. And I cannot wait for Godzilla King of the Monsters. And this movie was a... Um, oh, I thought when I first saw that, it's kind of a disappointment, but I really, really enjoy it. Good, like, build-up. You don't get to see Godzilla that much, but it's probably very expensive to make him. Next up, still in this packaging, but Get Hard. Fantastic comedy. Will Ferrell, Kevin Hart, great chemistry. Next is Home Alone and Home Alone 2. Um, it's still in this packaging. I bought it last year, right a couple days before Christmas to watch him. Never ended up watching him. I've seen his movies, of course. I'm not, I'm not that uncultured, but, um, yeah, they're good. You know, certain traps and all that. Next is, um, it's kind of trippy uh, when I rewatched it. Alice in Wonderland, the OG OG. It was a, a 60th anniversary. It's an old ass movie, and you can tell how old it was. All right, crazy the through these. I got a whoa pile left. Next up, back in the MCU, my second favorite MCU movie, according to my new, rank new ranking, is Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh my god, so good. These guys all together, they're just the most likable bunch of them all. Next one of my favorite comedies of all time, and The Hangover. Fantastic, hilarious. Bradley Cooper, Ed Helms, that can help with that. Nackiest, huh? Have our amazing trio, just fantastic. I bought this two days ago, and that is Law Abiding Citizen, and that is with Jamie Foxx and Gerald Butler. Have never seen it. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. I need to watch it, I need to plug it in. Packaging. Next up, Kong Skull Island. And I had a good time. I thought it was good. I thought it was good action. I thought it was CGI was good. I thought the storyline itself pretty good. I like Brie Larson and I really like Tom Hiddleston. And you know what? I'm for it. I'm there. Next is back in the MCU. Where am I? My, my Spider-Man. Spider-Man Homecoming. My favorite Spider-Man movie. Great. Loved it. Tom Holland kills it. And it's a it's a really good storyline. I got some really good humor and all that. Um, next is my second favorite movie from last year. And that is A Star is Born. I got the steel book. You guys want to look inside the steel book. It looks kind of nice. Here's the digital code thing. It's sitting right there. It's a good time in here. It's a fantastic movie. Tear your heart out. I have watched it three times since I own it on a steel book. And I got it February. So, yeah. Next up, Catherine Bigelow by Glow Bigelow Blow. Um, the Hurt Locker. Fantastic. All again, super intense. Super kind of like, oh my god, you know what's going to happen. And it's. It'll kill you. It's a crazy movie. Next up, another Catherine Bigelow, Bajlow. Detroit. I've never seen it. I actually picked it up last night. It was only $5.99 at Best Buy, so you know your boy was going to pick it up. And I'm very excited. I'm going to watch it soon. Got to get on a movie watching game. Next up, bought this last night as well. Batman vs. Superman. Getting ready for my DCE ranking. Um, I need to rewatch it. I remember not liking it, but I think if I rewatch it, I'll be like, you know what? That'll be all right. Next up is... Knock Knock, $5.99 on those big bins at Best Buy with Keanu Reeves. And it looked trippy when I saw a trailer for it. I saw a trailer for it on a movie I watched recently. I was like, whoa. And then I found it. I was like, dude, hell yeah, I'm going to buy it. 
I like movies. I like engineers are bad. I'm like, you know what? I appreciate it. That's awesome. And last, but certainly not least, a movie I haven't seen, The Favorite. I bought it last night. I was going $18.99. And, um, you know, Olivia Coleman won Best Actress for this movie. So I had to pick it up. Had to buy it. Need to watch. So there you go, guys. That's my Blu-ray collection. And it's probably the world's smallest Blu-ray collection because, like I said, I started collecting in November last year. I have like over 60, so I'm pretty sure I'm doing doing pretty good. Um, I have a lot of DVDs, so if you guys want to see a DVD collection video, make sure to smash that like button. Do me a favor and go see a movie. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys soon. Peace! Bye!